And I was very critical also of Boris Johnson for, you know, the the irresponsible claims about, you know, we, we don't spend the whole podcast talking about Brexit, but I think you and I know that some of these claims were false. And, and you wrong. knew Johnson of old. You knew I exactly did. how he operated. Yeah, he plays fast and loose with the truth and the actuality. And he's very undisciplined and, you know, untrustworthy, frankly. If Yeah. And, and he was prime minister when you resigned. Was, was that a factor? And uh, what I mean is, was it a factor that made you question whether you should resign? Knowing him better than most, having shared, you know, the Brussels lobby equivalent with him. Did, did, did you think I should better keep an eye on this guy? When when he became um, prime minister and we knew I could see this coming, you sure. could just yeah. it was like a, it was. a yeah. <laughs> absolutely like a car crash. Wasn't it? Yeah. Or an Elizabeth decent tragedy yeah, kind of yeah. unfolding yeah. where, yeah. you know, all these actors are just basically falling off. And there he is. Wait for that and, time. you know, he it was obvious as well that the you know, Parliament was stalled. Something had to break it. And Johnson was the answer. Um, but his methods and also his conciliary, Dominic Cummings, yeah. critical there too, uh, for the la- for the most part. We we f- I did feel that we needed to hold them to account. And I wrote one or two of the editorials, which yeah. were particularly on we, this prorogation of Parliament, yes. the delay, you know, just saying, you know, we're going to, get rid of parliament for five weeks that was totally irresponsible and wrong 